Hello folks, good evening. It's Tuesday night. Back to work for me this week. And hope you've had a good, you know, hope you had a great weekend, Labor Day, if you're here in the U.S. And you're back to work today. It was kind of like a Monday, but not really. Kind of a short week. So I always like these weeks when you have a Monday off. Because then, like it seems like it's Wednesday, but it's really Thursday. And it seems like a Thursday, but, you know, it's Friday. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, this is wallpaper of the day is another one from NASA, uh, the Juno spacecraft, and this is Jupiter, folks. And this is called the uh, Jovian jet stream. So really cool, really cool shot. All kind of cloudy stuff going on in Jupiter. That's always always cool to watch. But but anyway, we're we're back. I just did a get uh, commit and push of the latest agenda update. So. That is out there. This is the agenda for tonight. I'm pretty excited because I got to re review some pretty awesome material today. And now I feel like I understand multiple spanning tree and PBST better than ever, which I really needed. Like I really needed that. Uh, I went into the lab yesterday, kind of not really knowing what I'm doing, just kind of jumping in. I hadn't really read the material yet. So today I had a chance to read a couple of articles. I already posted them in the chat. And there in regards to PBST simulation with MST, this is a Cisco article that is excellent. And this is just another, I'll get to this one. But I actually left the lab running all day. I never really got to it until about six o'clock. I started working on this again, getting it in order. But we're gonna go through this again and I feel like I understand it, but I wanna just, you know, I already had the lab running. I wanna just go through it myself, the configuration, I wanna, Fix it, break it, fix it, sort of, break it, sort of again, and, I, and I'll go through that. Just I want to kind of validate and see so it'll sink in how this is going to work. Because it's great right now. Like, I feel like I just read these articles and I understand it. But the exam is in 55 days. Will I remember it then, right? So we need to do some memory reinforcement here beyond what I would typically do for these subjects that I'm reviewing for the written exam. But for this, where MST meets PVST, uh, PVST plus, yeah, we, we need to let it sink in a little bit, right? Uh, so let's go over this again. Uh, it, hey, DeBizzle, how are you, my friend? Good to see you, DeBizzle. Hope you're having a good Tuesday night. Hope you had a great Labor Day. Hope you ate some good barbecue. Um, I had some okay barbecue. I actually had just some hot dogs that got burnt. But I like my hot dogs burnt. This is, uh, yeah, I chilled. Yeah, me too. We actually watched, like, my wife and I watched, you know, she's from another country. And she's not a big movie fan. Or, you know, she loves movies. But I'm, like, into classics and foreign films and, you know, film. So I've been introducing her to some old. So we stayed up and watched, you know, a couple nights uh, we just kind of hung out, went to friends, had some barbecue, and then we watched. She's never seen Schindler's List, and she bawled. <laughs> uh, it's like my third or fourth time seeing it. I love the movie. But anyway, yeah, I hope you had a good time. I certainly did. I was kind of recharged for today, and again, it's a short week. Um, this is for the written, DeBizzle. He asked, I'm curious about doing a lot of Layer 2 stuff. Is this for the written? Yes, as a matter of fact, DeBizzle... Um, I'll show you. Let, let me just delve into this oh, just a little bit. So my scores, this last go round, the first go round, I feel like I did pretty well. Actually, I need to go blueprint. I think. Yeah. Exam results. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. Yeah, both times I got low scores in layer two, even though like when I took the CCMP switch, like I pretty much aced it compared to the route. And a lot of the new things in the CCIE, I think are what have thrown me off. Um, but I realized that I had a weakness in a couple of areas of even just the basic spanning tree. So that's why I'm going a little more in depth. I want to score higher. I feel like probably what the layer two, where it's getting me mostly, is 
MST and where P MST and PVST meet is definitely a weak area. I know that. So that's why I'm taking a couple of days for that. And there are a couple of weird like loop guard scenarios that I'm going to get into a little bit. Um, and I think where I did really poor is on IGMP. And the pimp snooping, yes. So I want to be spending a little time here in layer two. And I don't know right now, you know, I, I thought about this today. Like I planned out my vacation. I, I'm taking off five, four days prior to the exam in October. Um, at this rate where I'm going at, you know, I'm not trying to go too rabbit holy, but at the same time, failing it twice, I know what my weak areas are. So I'm going to spend time on these weak areas. And if I get to 50 days and I figure out, you know what, this is just not enough time, it's hard for me right now to schedule vacation time and reschedule vacation time. I think I'll still take the vacation to study, but I will reschedule if I need to. Um, but what I'm doing right now at Abyssal is going through the networklessons.com. Um, so, yeah, but I hit a couple of these areas and figured out that really there's some deep understanding of Spanish STP. Thank you, Abyssal. I appreciate it. I need it. I need it. Um, so, you know, I'm probably going deeper than I need to. And I may, it may knock me off pace a little bit, but I just, I'm going by instinct now. Before I was going really towards scheduling and I was going towards, you know, how am I doing with the um, boson, you know, and now I'm really going by feel, like how well do I know what's going on with these protocols? And, um, you still have your subscription? That's good, man. Uh, you talking about networklessons.com? Because it's annual, right? Um, my, my Safari books online is about to come up for renewal. And of course, I'm going to renew it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try to get a deal like I did last time. I think I got 30% or 15% off last time or something like that. But, but yeah, um, I really like networklessons.com. I really do because it's given me a good outline. But yeah, we're uh, we're we're here on MSTP. So I did this yesterday, and I was able to get it to crash whenever I. Um, so this we've got these four switches here. One, two, three, and four are running MSTP with two instances plus the IST, the internal spanning tree instance. And we got switch five, which is running PVST plus. Um, it's just running, you know, traditional spanning trees. So and we've got 10 VLANs. So what I did yesterday is I made as long as um, the MST region was, had the lower priority for VLAN one, everything worked great. As soon as I made this a lower priority, things broke. Like uh, these VLANs became, VLAN 1 was fine, but all the other VLANs, I was getting these error messages about inconsistent ports. And I now know why that's the case. iOS v2. Oh, you're talking about the viral subscription? I let mine go. Um, so I'm using the latest images up to, like, my, my viral subscription expired maybe two months ago. I did not renew it. So I still have the latest images, and those are the images I'm using. Yeah, this is EVNG, but I'm using the latest viral images, the latest switch images. So, um, show ver... Yeah, show uh, dir flash. Yeah, so as you can see here, this is this is the latest uh, L two image, and and it's been working great in even G so far. So, well, you know, if they come out with new images, I'll probably renew just to get them. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, folks, let's take a look at these. Let me reposition my screens a little bit here so I can see any new chats that come up. We're about to switch screens here. All right, I, I'm just going to go over this briefly, guys. This, again, this is not really so much an instructional channel. There are some good, the links I, the link I sent earlier is really good. If you have network lessons, there's a video on this, and there's a really good lesson on it. Uh, it's outstanding, the way Renee explains it. So that's what I would definitely recommend if you're looking for instructional material. Uh, but I'm going to go over it briefly, probably insuccinctly, but... Here's what happens. So if we have this region, switches one through four, that are in the same MST spanning tree uh, region, then what, and then we have um, PBST plus running here on switch five, which let's just verify, I'll show, show span. There we go. So we're running um, spanning tree protocol IEEE and right now this bridge is the root so there are going to be problems what i'm going to do is i'm going to put i'm going to make everything i'm going to fix everything so if you see show vlan brief or no yeah show vlan brief we should have nine or yeah nine vlans here we've got one interface active in vlan 5 that's connected to this host so i'm just going to make him um Show run. Okay, so we're not using any special priority right here. But notice that this bridge still thinks that he is the root. Um, let's see. Yeah, this bridge is a root. Show interface trunk. Make sure trunks are up. They are. Okay, what I'm going to do over here then is the thing, you know, the thing about multiple spanning tree and PVST is as soon as a switch running multiple spanning tree receives a BPDU that is pvst plus what it will do is it will go into what's called pvst plus or r pvst plus either or simulation mode it says okay this switch over here can't talk multiple spanning tree so what it's going to do is represent the mstp domain or region uh, to PBST plus and it's going to try to it's going to try to negotiate essentially who wins the um, who is where the root bridge is is the root bridge in MST or is the root bridge in the PV in the non MST domain so it's going to look at that BPDU that it received only from VLAN one remember MST has fewer spanning tree instances than it does vlans so it's not going to be able to do a one-to-one -one mapping if if the non-mst bpd you know bpdus if there's 20 of them for 20 different vlans we're not going to be able to do a comparison one-to-one -one of your spanning tree instance to my spanning tree instances because we don't have the same number so what it does it's basically only going to look at vlan one and it's going to compare VLAN 1 on the non-MST to the IST or the internal spanning tree instance on, in our MST region. And it's going to just compare those two. It's going to say, all right, who has the better BPDU? And if the multiple spanning tree region has the better B BPDU in the IST, the internal spanning tree instance, then that's cool. What we do is... Um, we will transition the port to, instead of root, we'll transition it to designated. And we'll go into simulation mode and we'll figure out, because of how many BPDUs we get, we'll figure out how many uh, VLANs are over there on the non-MST um, 
domain. And we're going to just generate, based on the IST only, we're going to generate BPDUs uh, that are PVST plus BPDUs. And we're going to send them down that link for all the VLANs that are over there. Right? So even if I have three, like I have three spanning tree instances here, I'm only going to compare the IST, the internal spanning tree instance, with VLAN 1 over here in the non-MST. And again, as long as we're lower, we're fine, right? And that's what I want to map now, because right now they're not. Right now, this guy has one. So I want to come over here to switch one, actually. Because I think switch one would ordinarily be the root. We want him to be the root. Show run span. Oh, this is still old configuration. All right. Oops, sorry. So let's go and configure spanning tree. Um, oh, you know what I need to do? No, this is what I need to do. I need to go to, th these are set to startup configs. I played with this cool option the other day that I'm still learning about Eve NG Pro. So more actions. So I can play with the configuration sets here. And I'm trying to remember how to get to that. Go away. Is it lab details? No. Okay, here we go. Right now we're at the startup config set. And I'm going to set all nodes to this config set. Because I want to reuse this topology. So I want to have, you know, a real basic startup topology, which I, you know, I now do. But now if this works right, I can create multiple configuration sets for this single topology. It's really slick. Let's see if it worked. All right, it may still be running. I don't know. I can fix that, rename can fix that, delete can fix that. Disable boot from exported. Do I have to restart? Enable boot on exported config. Okay, this should be on. I guess I have to restart. That has been saved. Okay. Let's restart all nodes. Uh, here we go. All right, so that's what it did. It, it switched these to... Cool. Is there a command to restart all nodes? Actions. I can stop all nodes and start all nodes, I think. Let's do that. All right, we got the red uh, spinny things. I I'm liking this even G Pro, and it looks like there's a new release coming out. If y'all saw uh, Alan on LinkedIn, he posted that. Uh, there, it looks like he posted some preview features of the next version of even G, and it looks like there's some new stuff coming out, which should be should be really cool. All right, start all nodes. And I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually having fun with Spanning Tree. Does that sound disturbing or what? But 
I've, I've just been sort of thinking of it as kind of a routing protocol in a lot of ways or behavior similar to um, a lot of mechanisms similar to a normal routing protocol. And that gave me a different attitude about it. And now I'm actually kind of enjoying it. So. All right, let's watch these bad boys boot up. Yeah, so uh, what we're going to do while this is booting up, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set where the multiple spanning tree region, the IST is going to have the better BPDU. And so this should work fine. And what I have here on host one is I have a, an interface on VLAN 5 and I have an uh, uh, SVI on VLAN 5 over here. And it should be able to ping no problem. Like this will be blocked, but it should be able to ping. They should be able to ping each other. Then what I'm going to do is the same thing I did yesterday, which is I'm going to make switch five VLAN one have the lower priority. And then we're going to watch it break and I will not be able to ping. Then we're going to fix it. And the fix is if you really, if for some reason, for some godforsaken reason, I can actually see instances of this, okay? I can visualize maybe a couple of pretty extreme rare scenarios where you would have a mix, not so rare, where you would have a mix of multiple spanning tree. You know, you're doing upgrades or you're just rolling out multiple spanning tree for the first time and you have a mix in your environment. You know, I could see that, and I could see where it would obviously work better if the multiple spanning tree region won with the better BPDU. But, let's say for some reason, policies, uh, importance of the switch, I, I don't know. For, for some reason, you want the PBSD Plus switch or switches to be the preferred root bridge you can do it okay it will work but here's the problem so if i just set vlan one because that's what we're comparing right when we do mst and not in ms in mst we're comparing ist and vlan one bpdus so it's it's cool if i set um vlan one on the non mst switch if i set him to be priority 4096 Okay, he went out. That's fine. The problem is, you know, the spanning tree instances are not grouped together on the switch. So you could have, for example, VLAN 1 be preferred, but VLAN 2 have a really high priority. There's no way to resolve that. Um, you know, Again, you can't compare VLANs to instances to instances over here. So what you have to do is you have to set all the other VLANs to be lower priority than VLAN 1. In other words, the non-MST switch here is sending all these BPDUs for all his VLANs. He's thinking that this, you know, we're simulating over here. So he thinks this is just another PVST switch. So he's sending all his BPDs for all his VLANs. What happens, for example, and switch two is going to be checking. It has a checking mechanism on the simulation to make sure that all is good. He doesn't want to see any BPDUs that are inferior to the BPDU received on VLAN one. Well, remember what happens with, uh, let's pull up a text. Let's pull up VS code here. So let's say you have switch five is sending a BPDU um, 4096.aaabbbbccc.what. Uh, -A 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 -B 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 -C 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 Remember, it, it appends the system ID, which is one for the VLAN, to the BPDU for VLAN one. 
Now switch five sends over. It throws over the wall. B P D U for VLAN two. Forty ninety six A A A B B B B C C C C dot two. Technically, this is an inferior BPDU, right? Because it's a higher number. It's only by the, the uh, system ID, extended system ID. But this and the MST domain doesn't want to see um, anything inferior to this VLAN 1 BPDU. So what you have to do is you have to set all the other VLANs to be even lower than VLAN 1 in the priority. So if we do this, 0.aa.bbccc.2, then that's fine. Then that's a guarantee for MST that, hey, you know, we based everything on this VLAN 1, and no other VLANs are going to be coming in and not be the root, right? They all need to be lower than this. Um, anyway, I know that sounds technical. It's probably hard to visualize. It was for me. But we'll see it here in a minute because we're going to do some Wireshark captures. We're going to do some debugs. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right, we got switch one coming up. Yep, system restarted. Very true. Let's see if I got my configurations right here in EVE and it used the configuration set that I wanted. This is getting cut off, isn't it? Well, that's not good. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's just close it, reopen it. Uh, show run span. It's definitely slowest, like right as all these switches are booting up. Ah, I didn't do it. Shoot. Okay, I'll configure it now. I need practice anyway. So we're going to say uh, spanning tree MST configuration and let's see name MST test instance one oh do I have my VLANs do show VLAN brief okay I do all right maybe I didn't save it after I did the MST configuration I thought I did all right so instance one VLANs one through five, instance two VLANs six through nine, and what else? Revision one and spanning tree mode. Mode MST. All right, so we're going to copy this to the other switches. Switch two, switch Wow, it may not like the fact that I did a restart. Reconnect. Like I said, this lab isn't running all day. You know how you have good intentions? Like, at lunch, I'm going to work on this. And right after lunch, or right after work, I'm going to work on this. And then other things distract you. And so I just could not bring myself to shut down the lab. Oh, right, yeah, it's still running hot.
Oh yeah, that's slow. All right, let's restart. Uh, close the lab. Yeah, it's 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 being a little sluggish. So let's just. Do a little graceful shutdown here. And we're going to go ahead and write out my configs. So we have those ready. So we're going to say uh, configuration MST name um, MST lab revision one instance one VLAN one through five one two three instance two VLAN six through nine. MST. Okay, so this is going to be switches one through four. And then on switch five, um, we're going to leave as is. I think what should happen in this case is the Multiple spanning trees should become preferred. Okay, we're going to start this back up again. Then our next task, let's build, build out our tasks here. Task one is configure MST as root bridge. MST region IST is root bridge. Task two is configure VLAN one on non MST switch as root. And we're going to expect a break here. And we're going to validate a ping VLAN five SVI. Uh, should fail. Task three is to resolve issue um, simulation issues for switch five. And what we're going to do is yeah, this is for task two, configure VLAN one. So what we'll do is Switch five, we're gonna say figure terminal um, spanning tree VLAN one priority 4096. On task three, what we'll do is configure terminal, uh, I don't like when it does that. Spanning tree VLAN two through nine, priority zero. And then we'll do is validate. Should succeed. Okay. And in each of these tasks, we want to look at the uh, packet captures and just see what we can. All right, that is booting up now. Let's load Chrome. Chrome's for browser with even G. Admin Eve HTML5 console is my preferred. And we're gonna load, get a few little labs here now. I got the text is large, so hopefully it's easier to read. Um, open this lab and let's try this again. Startup configs.
And I don't know what the lightning is. Okay, lab has been saved. All right. Now we're going to start up. Man, this would be great if it worked. Start all nodes. All right, switch one. Connect to guacamole. We all like guacamole. Yeah, this is our, so this is our plan. I think this is everything. Oh, what I want to do too is, okay, this is going to be just for grins. Switch one, switch two, switch three. I'm actually going to make... No, switch four. Yeah, switch three. I'm going to make switch four the root bridge for instance number two, just for grins, because from what I understand of this topology, um, for switch five, this MST domain should look like a single entity. It should look like a single switch. So even if, um, for instance, two, that switch four is the root, I want to see what that looks like in the packet captures. It should still work. So what we're going to do on switch four is we're going to say, we're going to do all this. And we're going to say, um, spanning. I don't remember the command to do this. Instance two, priority, uh, three, two, seven, six, eight. Minus 40, 96 is what? 28, Yeah. That's another thing I wanted to try, so. It already looks to be working a little smoother here. I think switch, like these switches boot up earlier. No, about the same. Okay, good. At least it has... The interfaces look like they're configured the way they need to be, so that's good. Uh, what is this business? Half duplex. I don't know why that is. Okay, it did not take. Uh, this is GI13, which is host one. Yeah, I have no idea why it does this. Sometimes it just negotiates to like a weird. Show interface GI13. One gig. Duplex mismatch discovered not half duplex with H1. 
Why does it think this one is half duplex? Uh, duplex full. Take that. Do show run interface show one three. That's this is a software thing. It's got to be. Um, no negotiation auto duplex full SP. All right, let's see if they match up now. Okay. Weird. All right, so we got our switches up. Let's go ahead and put in MST. Oh, I don't like when it does that. Uh, we're going to switch one first. Ah, uh, frustrating. Come on. Copy that. Paste that. Okay, let's see. Configuration, MST. Spanning tree. Configuration. Spanning tree, MST. Configuration. Yay. Okay. See, it did not, uh, the copy paste is not very consistent with this plugin. All right, anyway, that's created. Uh, show span MSTP. Okay. This bridge is a root. All right, let's do switch two. Beautiful, switch three, and switch four. Okay, it worked three times, and then the fourth time, there we go. All right, show span. It does some weird things like with the cost, doesn't it? Okay, but switch one is the root. Okay, now if we go over to switch four, or no, switch five. Yeah, I'm not liking how that works out. There we go. Switch one, two, three, four. Switch five, you're gonna go down here. Show interface trunk. Show span. Okay, this is odd. It says this bridge is the root. Why does it say that? Oh, because this bridge ID is lower. It's like zero, 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 zero. Is that why? Um, show, let's look at switch two. Show span. Okay, these are designated. GI13, is it, is it not even up? Okay, yeah, it's designated. Uh, 
Let's switch five, sorry. Oh, the port is not up. Okay. Show run interface GI13. Aha. All right, let's fix that. Uh, interface GI13. No shut. Okay, it should get a get this received 802.1 QB PDU. Okay, that's the signal, right? All right, I've got a 802.1 QB PDU. This is not going to work. We got to do something. It's all good. This is what we want. J12 over here. Let's check this. No shut. Okay, it blocks it, and then it comes up. And then what should happen is switch five should now recognize the new king. There we go. All right. And the world should be good. So let's do, let's check our SVI for VLAN five. Oh yeah, notice for example, Check this out. So remember we made switch four, or did we? Oh, we didn't do that yet. We need to do that. Switch four needs to be, needs to have the better priority. Spanning tree, MST, instance. Uh, what is this command here? Spanning tree, MST, configuration, instance, to, how do I set the priority? Let me check the lesson real quick. Guess what I thought? Spanning tree. MST. Oh, we just put the instance number. So this would be two. Priority. Uh, what do we say? Spanning tree. MST. Two. Priority two eight. So this command right here. Okay, so now let's go to switch two. Show spanning tree MST two. Okay, the root is switch four. That's what we want, right? But on switch five. This still says um Switch one is the root. And that's okay because um, that's fine because again, as we said, we're just representing this entire region as a single switch over to switch five. As if Switch 5, all he has to think is that there's only one switch over there. And it's the root of everything, right? So let's do a show IP interface brief. We're going to make sure this all works. We're going to do interface VLAN 5, IP address 2.168.5.5. Um, no shut. And we're going to go over here to host 1. Show IP interface brief. Uh, let's interface GI00. Yeah, we want to change it. 
break him out. Your face guy zero zero is going to be one nine two one six eight five dot uh, eleven. IP address. Go shut. And we're going to set that access port. Thanks to GI13. Yeah. Switch port access VLAN 5. All right. So now they should theoretically be able to ping each other. Yep. So we have connectivity here, VLAN 5. And then I think it's going to go this way because he's the root. How did it end up over here on switch 5? So show interface trunk. Show spanning tree VLAN 5. GI13 is the root. Okay, that's fine. So we're going here first, even though he's the root. But again, we're representing this entire region as a single switch to switch 5. So this is blocking, and that is uh, root port. This is alternate, that's root. But traffic gets where it needs to go. Now we're going to break it. We're going to set switch 5 with the lower priority on VLAN 1. Organize my windows over here. I lost track of something. There we go. All right, so on switch 5, we're going to say... Um, Interface VLAN 1, no, sorry. Spanning tree VLAN 1, let me, let me just check, check my documentation, make sure I'm following the script here. Okay, yeah, task one is done. Now we're on task two. Configure VLAN 1 on non-MST switch as a root, expect it to break. So here's what we're gonna do. Where did 50 come from? Copy, paste, yay. All right, now we should get all sorts of uh, errors over here. Actually, I should be capturing this. Uh, let's do a debug. There it is. All right, he's like, okay. What are you doing to me? <laughs> uh, debug, spanning tree, events. Right, this is what I did, did yesterday, and we broke it. All right, we're going to let this sort of normalize, but we are going to capture port GI13. All right, let's see what we get from everything else. Five zero 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 six zero seven. Oh, I, I want not that. Okay, so here's switch two. He's like 
See how he's emulating or he's simulating PVST and he's sending a PVST BP to you. These are just TCNs, right? This would seem to work well, but remember, if we do now, show spanning tree. We've got PVST inconsistent right here. See, he's saying that for MST0, which is the IST, that switch 6 is, or switch 5, is the root bridge. But for my other instances, switch 1 and switch 4 are my... So we've got a mismapping here. We've got, we've got trouble. So if we go to VLAN 5 right now, and we do that ping like we did before... Uh, it's not going to work. If it does, I would be shocked. Yeah, so we're broken. Now, what we can do to make this work is, as we said, we just need to make all the VLANs on the non-MST area um, a lower priority than VLAN 1. So that the MST switches who are going by what VLAN 1 says are not going to see any inferior BPDs come in, right? So we're going to go over here. We're going to say on switch 5. Yeah, this, this is our fix. This right here is our fix. And where did you go? All right, switch 5. I, where did the letter I come from? I would really like to know that. Where was the letter I in my clipboard? Okay, now we're the root, yes. And now if we look at switch two, this should change. MSTR, check that out, MSTR, what does that mean? Master? You're master and I'm blocking you. Okay, PVST simulation inconsistency cleared. Yay! That's what we want. All right, now that you, this is the root port. That's what we want. And this is master. Okay, I think that's what this means. It's forwarding. Notice we have, you no, know, we do have a root port here. I'm not sure what that means. Multiple spanning tree? <laughs> I don't know. I did not see this in the document in any of the stuff I read. But I think this works. This should work. Because we should all now agree. Um, well, let's see. Let's do a ping. Yeah. So we fixed the problem. MSTR. What is an MSTR port?
Okay, this should be GI02 as the root. Okay, all right. Switch four is the root for this. I don't know, it's not really making sense to me. I mean, it's working. Um, all right, so if we look at the MST configuration. VLAN's map 10 through 4094 for MST zero. The root is switch five with 4097. The regional root is this switch. Right, because it's closest to Ah, okay, okay. MST1, the root is, okay. So for the instance mappings, it's still gonna, going to honor because it's not mapping these to It can only map the instances. Yeah, like we made four is a root switch of instance two. And we made switch one is the root switch for instance one and the ist is what communicates so how do those packets uh flow then for example when i ping from this host I would think it would go here, here, and then here. But it looks like it might go here, 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 here. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. So let's go to switch four. Let's show spanning tree VLAN five. I wonder if that works. Oh, check it out. Ah, uh, okay. See, I was looking at instance by instance, but if I actually do that, this makes more sense. GI02 is the root. See how that differs from the instance? So I do show Spanish Tree VLAN 5. Oh, it still says the root is switch 1. So it should go through GI02. Let's do a trace route. That's won't show me much. That's only layer three. And notice what he's doing, right? Switch two is sending all these PVSTs. For those topology changes. Now, what does 
let's check this out. What do the BPDUs look like between two and four? Let's do a capture here. Maybe that'll help, help clear this up a little bit. MST Lab, um, okay. Interesting. All right. Well, we got it working. We demonstrated that much. <laughs> I'm gonna go look at those lessons a little bit more because um, I thought I understood it until I looked at the show spanning tree on inside the MST region, and that confused me a little bit. So we're gonna take another look at that. Um, but I'm gonna to need to kind of wrap it up here, folks. Uh, good stuff. I understand it a lot better. I understand how you're supposed to configure things to make it work. I'm not sure I understand all my outputs yet, but I'm going to work, look into that a little more. I have one uh, additional meat chunk or link of the day, and that is Gray Wolf Packets. Definitely check him out. He's doing CCNA security uh, stuff, and a lot of this is pertinent. You know, even the CCIE did an NTP video the other day. But, yeah, give him some support. Check out his channel. Give him a sub on YouTube. He's just getting started, and he's already doing, like, a couple, you know, one video a day at least. So that's always good. We got to support each other here in the community for the content creators. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to about wrap it up, I think, for today, folks. I'll let you know if we're moving on tomorrow uh, at this same time. We'll either be going back to, to look at MST or we'll be looking at the other Spanish tree features like BPDU Guard. I'm going to be going over those. I may not need to lab any of those, but if I find any interesting points, I'll definitely be bringing them up here on stream. You know, we got loop guard, UDLD, BPD filter, spanning tree dispute and bridge assurance. I need to understand those a little better, so I'll definitely be vlogging or labbing some of that as well. And then, uh, yeah, still layer two stuff. Thanks so much for tuning in, folks. I appreciate it. You stopping by. Give us uh, you know, a like here on Twitch. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Like the channel. And if you have a Prime sub sitting around, you can hit sub button too. And and sub the channel. Or you can also check it out on Twitter, on Twitter Instagram, um, YouTube, LinkedIn. Uh, let's see. What, what's left? GitHub. Instagram. So... Anyway, all sorts of stuff going out there, all sorts of content. Thanks so much for stopping by. Always appreciate it. Sending you good bits. Hoping you the best on your, your labs and your study material. Um, and keep at it, folks. Let's keep hitting it. Hit it hard. Those uh, cert dates are not getting any farther away. They're only getting closer. So thanks so much, folks. Have a good night, and we shall see you tomorrow. Again, here on the Land Tamer stream, where we'll keep pushing the good packets.